The most anticipated TCG release of the year has arrived. The new competitor to Pokemon, Disney Lorcana. The real question is though, how does it stack up? Let's find out. So we're gonna start with our lovely Pokemon cards and we did pick Scarlet and Violet specifically for a reason. It is just like the first chapter, the first chapter of the new generation for Pokemon. Let's go fire. And so we thought it appropriate to pick the first chapter of the new generation, Scarlet and Violet for Pokemon. So we did do it for a very specific reason. And I wanted to kind of have a feel for those cards first before we open Lorcana. And I give you my first, first thoughts on Lorcana and the Disney's new TCG, our Mirage for our rare. If you wanna win today's Pokemon cards, because we give away all of our Pokemon cards here, make sure you subscribe, comment down below and let us know, will you be buying any Lorcana? And make sure you check back next week to see if you won today's cards. We have to open Mickey as our first pack. I have to say that my first, first opinion of Lorcana is a little mixed. The box itself did not come sealed. This packaging is fabulous though. I have to say that I was a little disappointed. Disappointed! Because when I picked up the box itself, um, it, it was a little flimsy, which, just kind of, as a collector, you want to make sure that everything that you get is is safe. And when you're paying this Disney premium, you want to make sure that you are getting the cards in the best possible, best possible condition. So you'll see these bottom little icons here. These are our commons, very similar icons to Pokemon, you'll see. Simba, the nostalgia of opening these is absolutely just, just hitting me. These are our rares. Mother knows best. Oof, not that one. Coconut basket from Moana. Simba. Hades. Here are our rares. Oh, and we have ourselves our first hollow. This is a common hollow. Now you will notice, and this is something I saw in some of the other videos I watched about Lorcana, the common hollows, and here is the codes. They're just QR codes. And so um, we'll give you guys the QR codes if you're interested in the companion app. There you are. I find the comments a little bit dark. So the card field themselves, some people thought they were a little bit cheap. I wouldn't agree. Now, I would say that the new generation of Pokemon, they they picked up their game with the new generation. And so I would compare this to the old generation of Pokemon. I think it's completely fine. And I think they need to work more on their print quality, more than they need to actually work on the actual quality of the cards themselves. I think that will come with time. Fire. And of course, the reality is, is, and we're gonna go back and forth just so I can kind of keep in mind the, the Pokemon world with us. Because the reality is, Pokemon has been around for so long. Just how long will this fad last? Retailers hope well into the holiday shopping season. And this new TCG that's coming out, it there hasn't been a new TCG for absolutely so long. Coridon for our rare Frozen next. This is just such a new world for us. There hasn't been this level of TCG coming after our lovely Pokemon for so long. Maleficent. We're gonna go a little bit slower uh, with the Lorcana. These are just such beautiful and new cards. This new era. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens long term. Everyone is losing it over Lorcana right now. I will be honest with you, we got these cards at MSRP, okay? No exception there, no change there. There is no way I was paying $400 for a booster box. I paid 250 Canadian. I found a local distributor uh, that had one. Oh, Maui. 
for uh, Rare Hollow. What a beautiful, beautiful card. Maui. The texture is interesting and the art is absolutely fantastic, but I just wish the brightness was better. When you look at the other card, the non hollow card, it's just so much brighter. Like you guys well know, I do not overpay for cards. Lorcana was not going to be an exception for that. And so when I found out that people were paying 400 for 24 packs, 12 cards each, let's go fire 24 packs. Not 36, but 24, 12 cards, so a little bit different. I just lost my absolute brain. I was not going to. And so we had come to terms that we were just not, uh oh, we've got ourselves a hit. A hit that you guys could win. What will it be? Oh, an amazing Coridon EX. Oh, this is such a beautiful, beautiful card. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful Coridon. Let's take a look at it under the microscope. Coridon EX. The little things like texture that Disney has a long way to go. What a beautiful illustration. Third pack of Lorcana. It's interesting, these packs definitely open better than Pokemons, I have to say that. But quite frankly, do we really care about the packs? No, we usually throw them out anyways. These cards are just, here's the thing with Disney. And this is why they get to ask for a better price. The IP and the, the love of the nostalgia of all the characters and what they've built over the decades are just here, the darkness guys. It's just absolutely amazing. What a beautiful card. This is a common hollow magic golden flower. If you haven't looked into Lorcana very much, here is the code card there. Um, the other big thing to keep in mind, let's go fighting. There is a reverse of every single card and there is alternate versions of pretty much every single card. If you were to master sets like we do in Pokemon, it's next to impossible. And with the stock levels the way they are and the cost of these cards the way they are, it'd be next to impossible to do. So from a collector's perspective, it's just not very encouraging. Rev of room for our rare, let's go Maleficent first. And so it's just one of those things that I think Ravensburger is going to have to keep in mind. Ravensburger is the printer or the, the main creator of these cards. They're the ones that created the system for Disney. Uh, Ravensburger is the one that actually created it Disney essentially paid them to make this game for them. Um, Disney essentially just let them use the art of their characters. And that's kind of how this game was created. Disney has worked with them in the past multiple times creating games for them. Cruella de Vil, Let It Go. What an amazing song. And Break, which is another common hollow. Again, like I said, these common hollows are slightly on the dark side. So, so far, the Maui that we pulled is by far one of the best cards. Nothing hecka crazy, no legendary cards, which is kind of the full arts or the art rares that we see in the Pokemon world. Let's go fire. It's one of those things that, ooh, that's interesting. I don't think I've seen doubles like that before that's an interesting bit of an an, an error okay now i'm calling this an error pack we've got ourselves an error pack gang an error pack in a disney opening versus pokemon i don't know how i feel about that don't know how i feel about that let me know how you feel about that in the comments down below this better have a hit growlithe Oh my goodness. And it does. What do we have? We have a Coridon EX. Let's take a look at Coridon under the microscope. Of course, we get another Coridon EX. Be careful with that dino cry. Next up, we've got 
ourselves another frozen pack. I think the thing that's going to sustain Lorcana is whether or not the game mechanics and the game itself is any good. And we're not gonna know that until enough people learn the game and whether or not it, it sticks around. The, the next chapter of this Lorcana is going to be coming out in November. They're following the same principles as Pokemon with four releases, four main releases a year. Whether or not there's gonna be special releases as well is yet to be determined. Kind of like a special release like 151, which we'll be seeing in September. So to be determined as to whether or not this is gonna stick through the long run. Ooh, very interesting Aladdin. Is it, that is the hollow. It is a hollow uncommon. I'm not too sure where that falls exactly in the hierarchy. It's better than the common hollows, of course. It's one of those things. We'll have to see whether or not uh, Ravensburger and Disney continue on this journey with a TCG. There's the code card there. I have to say that you know, Pokemon in the TCG of Pokemon. Let's go fire. Ooh, got one there. You know, the game and the playing of the TCG is a huge part of why Pokemon is still around. People love, love, love to play the game and it's what sustains a huge part of it. And so we'll have to wait and see whether or not people pick up Lorcana and whether or not they decide to play it at the level, like tournament level, and whether or not there's a huge uh, uptake of the game itself. Don Dozo for our rare. Last pack, will we have any last pack of magic today? Only time will tell as to whether or not Lorcana will stay in the TCG game. But one thing I will say is don't let FOMO take your money this is something I see in a lot of my videos and this will stay the same for Lorcana. Um, and it's something that I will throw to you guys in my comments. Do you wanna see more Lorcana videos? Do you wanna see us do giveaway for Lorcana? We have up on our community tab a question. I, uh, we have a poll in our community tab please go answer it please make sure that you go answer our poll we want to know do you want to see more Lorcana content do you want to see giveaways we need to know what your thoughts are congratulations to last week's winners and let's see if we've got ourselves a hit beautiful Moana what a wonderful scene that is my goodness these cards are absolutely beautiful and we've got a rever or a hollow i wanted to say reverse scar it's a hollow scar if you'd like to watch some more pokemon content make sure to click on this video next